What if your Notion setup was so productive that it could get you fired? Now, what if we made this Notion dashboard secretly so it could do your job for you and you could take credit for it? And you could watch Netflix all day, but still be considered as productive. In this video, I'll show you how to automate your job in Notion and how to do this in secret so you get paid to do nothing. By the way, I can see from my YouTube analytics who my target audience is, so I actually looked up the most common job tasks for my demographic, and here's how to do those jobs specifically in Notion. All right, the first thing we're going to do is actually open up Notion AI. So I'm going to click here and we're going to brainstorm ideas. By the way, I'm using my free account to record this, so everything you're seeing can be done for free. I need 10 ideas on blog articles about uh, let's say you work at a pet toy company. These blog articles need to be SEO focused in their title, blah, blah, blah. Absolutely amazing. Copy and I will just paste this here and then I can close this here. All right, so here are the ideas. Now what I'm going to do is actually make this even easier for myself. So I'm going to highlight this here, click on these six dots here and do turn into and I'll just select text. Now what I'm going to do is forward slash calendar and do calendar view and click on create new database and this will be a new calendar. This here will be the blog schedule. Now what I can do in Notion is actually drag these directly in here and it will know to turn it from text into a page. So if I now drag this into, let's say we post every Thursday, just for example, as you can see, it automatically got turned into an actual page. Top 10 indestructible dog toys for aggressive chewers. Absolutely perfect. So now I can plan out and drag these in like this. So I could say it's every Thursday and every Tuesday, let's just say. What I'll do is click on these three dots here and do full width. All right, already this here would have taken a few hours and now I've done it in 30 seconds. So I have all of the different ideas here. So DIY pet toys, five easy homemade ideas for dogs and cats, perfect. And they're all laid out on a calendar for me. Now the next thing I'm going to do is make this content calendar even smarter. I'm going to click here and click on property here. And here you can see Notion is smart. It's already starting to pitch ideas for me. So author, published, staff, status, featured image, and reading time. Very cool. But I'm going to click on the select and this will be the stage. So what I'm going to want to know here is what stage of the process am I for each of these different articles here? So I'll say research, writing, written, approved, uploaded. All right, that is very useful. So now what I can do is click on these three dots here, click on properties and click on stage. So now here I can see the stage that we're at with each article without actually having to click on it first. So I can say this is in the research, this here is in the writing, yada yada. Now what we're going to do here is cut out emails. I hate emails. In my course, link in the description, I talk about how much I hate emails in meetings. So what we're going to do is forward slash page. This here will be for the boss and it's going to be all the stuff that needs approving. All of the different blog articles that need approving. And obviously if you're not writing blogs, whatever you're doing, it's really useful to have this page. So this here is all the blog articles that I have on the content calendar, but they're not going to want to see the stuff that's been uploaded, for example. They only want to see the stuff that is written. So I'll have these two be written here. And what I'm going to do here is forward slash data and click on table view. This time we will not click on new table. We will click on blog schedule or obviously whatever database you've created. So I'll click here and now you can see all of them are showing up in a list. Now, what I'm going to do here is add a filter. And this filter will be by the stage. And the stage will be only the stuff that is in the written stage. So now only the articles that are in the written stage will show up on this page. That way when you share this, so click on share, and when you share this page with your boss, they have one place where they can find all the articles. And the best thing is you're going to write them in here. This will save you a lot of time on the back and forth emails, which is a true waste of time. Speaking of, let's use Notion AI again. So what I'm going to do is double tap on the space bar. And now it brings up Notion AI. Now what I want it to do is actually to write me the article for this page. I want it to be 300 words and I have five headers that use keywords related to the title. Click on that and now it is automatically writing this for me as you can see and I will click on accept. Here I now have my blog article. I haven't done any work, but what my boss is going to see is this page here. They open up and see, wow, they've written all of this stuff here. Now bear in mind, if they're tech savvy, they might be able to work out that this is written by AI. So bear that in mind, but I think it's done a pretty good job of this, especially for a 10 second job. So now your task list with blog ideation, scheduling and writing articles was done in one minute using the power of Notion. All right, here's another one. 
And I've been in this exact situation, so maybe some of you can relate. Basically, you're sitting in a meeting and people are throwing out ideas on what needs to be done. The problem with that is everyone has to go away and add to their task list, and then everyone has to cross-reference and check each other's task list to make sure they don't have the same task on there, or to make sure that a task wasn't left behind and not added to anyone's task list. It's a big mess. So what you're going to do in the meeting here is actually write down the tasks just in Notion here. So it doesn't need to be fancy. You're just going to start writing them down like this. Task one, task two, task three. Obviously you'll write what the specific task is. Update blog banner, for example. So you'll just write all of them here. Now that you have these, just like written like this, it doesn't need to be fancy. So what we're going to do is forward slash database, click on table view, click on new table. So this will be the project at hand. Project A. Now what I can do here is take these tasks here and literally just drag them in here. So now I have my tasks in a database here. And now what I'll do is drag this database here into project A. All right, at the top of this project A here, what we're going to do is add a brief. So here is where you're going to write down the details of the actual project. What is the goal? What are you trying to work towards? All of that stuff. Now what I'm going to do here is delete this tags property and we are going to click on the plus and we are going to click on checkbox. And I'll just call this spacebar and I'll drag this here and drag it to the side. So now you can check in if it's been completed or not. Now what we're going to do here is click on the plus and we have a few ways of doing this. We could either click on person and we could literally assign this to specific people if they have a Notion account or what we could do, most likely your coworkers won't be super familiar with Notion or maybe even just with a shared project dashboard. That might be a weird idea to them. So instead we're just going to do a simple select and who it's for. And here you are going to fill out who it's for. Is it for Sarah? Is it for John? And you're going to assign the task to every single person. Now we're going to take this to the next step here. We're going to click on the three dots and we're going to click on group and we are going to group this by who it's for. So now John here can see all of the tasks that are just relating to John. And if I add task three to John here, you can see it appears here. Add another task to John, you can see it appears here. So it's automatically grouping this by the different person. So John here can see all of the tasks he has to do for project A. So now in the meeting, you're going to set a simple rule. You will not have another meeting until all of these here are checked in and everyone can see everyone's responsibilities in here. There's no being like, oh, I thought that person was meant to do this, blah, blah, blah. No miscommunication. We've got it all in here on this shared project page. Yes, it's a very boring looking page. I totally get that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be fancy. We are just trying to solve a problem here of constantly having meetings. Stop having these stupid meetings. And no one understanding what to do now after that meeting. By the way, if you do work in a small team and you would love a Notion workspace for everyone on that team, I do have a solution called Colab. It's all about transparent collaborating. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. The last job that we are going to be automating is meeting notes. So in this meeting, not only are people not actually aware of what tasks they should be doing, Doing, but everyone's taking notes on pen and paper. So people are taking notes and then you're going back and you're transcribing them and you're wasting a ton of time. And sometimes depending on your position in the company, you're the one who has to transcribe every single person's meeting notes. And it's a big old waste of time. So what you're going to do is open up ChatGBT and literally just take a photo of the notes and say, transcribe this writing. And then it automatically gets transcribed. So now you can go into your project A here and say notes, Boom, paste. And now you have all of the notes here. Blah, blah, the dog jumped up and said subscribe. We're not telling people that we're using AI, but we are getting it to do the job for us. If you thought this video was useful, you're going to love my all-in-one Notion template called Headquarters. It handles all of your tasks, your projects, your life buckets, your time tracking, your journaling, and so much more. Click on this video here to check it out or click on this one here to check out Colab, the Notion template for collaborating in Teams. Thank you so much for watching.